Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming on through today. I do appreciate it. Say hello to everyone on YouTube. As always, hello to those of you watching on YouTube. As you watching this post VOD, do greatly appreciate it. You all are amazing people. Um. I don't really think if I have any announcements to make. Not really. Nothing's really changed. Um. No change in plans or anything like that, so. Alright, just trudging along. Keep on going. Keeping on going. Keeping on going. Um. So we are intending on finishing out that um, a Pokemon shield today. Um, which means I could start next Friday on um, um, either Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure which I'm going to play at this point. Um, I'm getting both. But, I don't know which one I'm going to play first. So, we will see. We will see. Anyway. As I have no announcements or anything like that, we can just get straight on into things. We can pause this. Good, good. So, that's working. Um, I have changed the um, direction of where the, um, the like the rotation, more rotation of the. Um, I flipped the axis of the camera, so now whenever I look towards my game, on the screen, I am looking at the um, looking at content. Uh. So, we were in, like, the final town. That's where we left off. I'm trying to think if there was actually anything I wanted to do. <laughs> Before I'd done this. I don't think there's actually anything I want to do, so I'm just going to go straight on into this. Hey, it's Bull Guy. Hey there! Thanks for rolling on by and let's have a chat with your mate, the Bull Guy. I can tell you're following your dreams, and that means you guessed it. I've got a bo Pokeball for you. Dream Ball? A po easier to catch a Pokemon that's asleep? Yep. Pokemon that are asleep are easy to catch, but did you ever want to, it to be even easier? Well, the Dream Ball will make your dreams come true. Have uh, one of your Pokemon use hypnosis or yawn to put the opposing oppo the opposing the blah 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 to put the opponent to sleep and then give it a try. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Hey, it's my fan. Karanzi, uh, challenger Karanzi, remember the semi-finals and finals are just speed bumps on your way to facing Leon. You have to win. Hey, it evolved. I guess the champion's going to extend his winning streak again. I feel like Chandra Karanzi has a balanced team. But he doesn't have any way to decisively win, you know? What are you talking about? My Intellion quite literally just headshots people. A 
do I have a way of dealing with that freaking Morpico? This is it. I already made it. I made it through the gym challenge. There might be four um, before remaining in the semi-finals. But I'm the one who's going to win through and battle the champion. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. I actually want to check my Pokedex. Because that Morpico is going to be a pain in the ass. The thank you. Electric Dark. I, yeah, I should have what I need. Hey, Covalency, hello, hello. Thank you very much for the Hydra. I'm going to put this over this side, actually. How's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. Karanzi, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I need to check your gym badges, if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like Badi couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow I don't think... I didn't think he'd just be... Um, just take being disqualified lying down. You know what I mean? Oh, I guess he's gonna show up. I guess it is what it is. Come on, Karanzi, we should head to the locker room. I'm good. Also playing some Pokemon, see if I can get my uh, decks finished up. Nice. Very nice. Attention Gym Challengers, who have made it through the Gym Challenge. The semi-finals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. <laughs> I, I, I want to I wanna pump some iron. Where is this even taking me? Oh, that's taking me out. Okay. I'm sorry, but only authorized people are allowed to enter here. Okay. That must be after I win. Alright, let's see who's in the, um... Let's see who's joining Hop and, um... Marnie. Because obviously, what's her face took um, Badi away. Heh. I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that there's been a lot between. I know that there's been a lot between us, for with my big brother, Team Yell, helping uh, Spalkmouth and all that. But the truth is, when all's said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. Don't take it personal. When I kick your butt. Alright. This is some cool ass music. Throw out some rocks. Oh, my special attack went down. That's pretty shitty. Because X Scissor is special, I believe. Torment! Q 
Heal Pulse. Okay, what does Heal Pulse even do? Um, the user emanates a healing wave that restores the H uh, restores the target's HP by half of its max. Not bad. We've got Draining Kiss. And most things that are weak to Psychic are weak to Fairy as well. Look at the current out. Should be okay. I'm... No, that was a bad move. Uh, swap to Titanic. Damn it. So he's got the moves like Jagger. Wish. All right. We should be okay with this fight now. The only one that's actually going to give me any trouble is going to be more Pico. Because that Pokemon is a beast. Rock Wrecker? The user launches a huge boulder at the target. The user can't attack this turn. It's tempting. Uh, nah. I mean, if I had the ability that stops me from losing an attack, then hell's yeah. And then just beat that with um, PP ups. Toxicroak. Guard of should be okay. I think. Just everyone in the team, spread the love around. You go more Pico. No, we'll keep out the current team. I was expecting uh, to Dynamax it. No, we won't switch, we'll just keep this. You're gonna have to, like, literally one sh- Oh, hello!
Um... Psychic. There we go. Jeez, look at him! lost the only thing that could do any damage to it. Alright, and so on. That's Dynamax. And away! Obviously can't boom headshot, but... I mean... Sure, we're Kamehameha wave though. That's kind of a boom headshot. I was actually expecting more Pico to be her, like, final Pokemon. Oh, poor Marnie. Okay, so I lost. But I got to see a lot of the good points. I got to see a lot of the good points of you and your Pokemon. Don't know why I'm just finding it so hard to read today. Or well, any day, really. <laughs> Everyone in the stadium was watching us doing all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not so bad. Think I'll join my brother in the stands and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. <laughs> Alright, so she's now being Sundari, okay. Karanzi! I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept the outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire! Yeah, but who do you have? I'd actually like to see them battle. Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the next, uh, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like you uh, to, uh, we'd like you back on the pitch. Who the hell did he beat? The final match, uh, the final match in the semi finals is about to begin. The ones who'll battle in this final match are Challengers Karunzi and Hop. Both are endorsed by the champion. Uh, I'm the I'm a cameraman for Marco Cosmo Television. Sorry, the camera is rolling now. Okay, well, I mean, 
What we need to do is we need to make sure we've got a str Hey, Quadrival's healed. Okay, I don't need to heal. Fantastic. They're being incredibly generous. Alright. Time to beat Hop one more time, chat. I just had this sort of flashback, you know, remember? Back when we were still in Postwick. When we got our Pokemon from Lee that day. I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here. Facing you of all people. But it's time I finish what I started that day. Got it? The one who'll become champion is me. Hop. You picked the Pokemon that was weaker than mine. You had a Pokemon advantage in that battle. And I still beat you. You're not doing it. I commend your tenacity. Alright. Collapse. Oh, he's... Worked on his, um... Worked on his throw. Stealth work it is. Let's go, let's go! Okay... Screw us all with access, I guess. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't, okay, awesome. Hey! How dare you flinch! Oh, don't, don't, don't you go to sleep. He's already using a full restore? What is this? What is this? Sixty-nine chat, nice. I mean, at least he's not flinching every time, I guess. Oh, fuck off, mate. Um... Well done, Pinchy. Can't hit this crab. I mean, I should probably have just changed to a Pokemon that has a super effective move. But I'm stubborn. Pinchy will win the day. Oh, you can stop causing me to flinch now. Thank you. Oh, 
I was half expecting him then to use a full heal. So, I mean, my Inteleon will deal with I don't know what to do with the Charizard. I got my Sandit for the Grookey, I guess. Oh my god. be good in this instance. Unless he's a flying steel type. I mean, he might be. That hurt. Yeah, it must be if it's... Alright, that's dead. It must be a steel type if it's got, um... Poison immunity. Time to become men of culture. We've seen enough off-brand anime to know where this is going. You're not gonna... Well, I don't think you're gonna lower my speed enough to do anything. Apparently you are. And he also has the moves like Jagger. The moves like Jagger confused Tenhai. Okay. So, what? 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 What's going on? Bun Bun of the Isle is raiding me. Well, hello there. Hello, Enzo. Welcome in, welcome in. Hello, Bun Bun. How we go? Let me just give you a quick shout out. You're playing Dead by Daylight. How did the um? How did the killings go? But welcome in, raiders! If you do not know who I am, my name is Karonzi. I am a variety streamer. I play a ton of different games across Xbox, Switch, PC, and board games. Um, we survivors, baby! 
Nice. Uh, tonight you've joined us at a time when we're trying to um, finish up uh, Pokemon Shield. They were good. <laughs> Actually, Flashlight saved me for once. Nice. Okay, so... I was fairly certain Psychic was strong against normal. How are you and how's your stream? The stream's going well. We're currently trying to beat Hop in the Championship Cup. Oh, ow! I made a mistake. <laughs> I, I'm i good. Thank you very much. Emzo, how are you? Or oh, Emzo. Sorry. Oh, I believe you can do it. I'm hoping so. Alright, Titanic. I don't want to risk the Snorlax, um... Staying alive. Emzo, thank you very much for the follow. I do greatly appreciate it. Oh, he crit me. Okay. There's another follower towards 750 in the next cosplay stream. So thank you very much. Pinchurin? Pinchurin? I don't know what... I can't remember what Pinchurin is. Oh, it's that thing. Sure, we'll, we'll jump on it again. Of course you cursed me. I suppose that's actually the best thing. It oh no. I was thinking of, I was thinking of Hex. I, I'm glad you had a good stream, Bun Bun. And thank you for bringing your family over here. Hey, Guadalajara to 50. Cinderace. Okay. Yeah, I'm switching Pokemon. That's a no-brainer. Time to use um, Kamehameha. Alright, Cinderace. Let's see how you stand up to my Kamehameha wave. You didn't.
Fun times. Sorry, Salon Dip. Bronzy, thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. Let's go. We won the championship. Now we got to fight the champion. Well, okay, the semi-finals, okay. And the victor of the semi-finals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is... Challenger Karonzi! You know, even when Sonya was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes... I never, I never really felt like one. But you, mate. I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Karonzi. And Crossel and the rest of your team. Hey. It's old Leon. Karonzi! That was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you sent out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. That burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion. It was battling at its very purest in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason! My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger. And the challenger standing before us might well end up being you, Karonzi. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. That's right, Karonzi. The real challenge is what's coming next. And I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best refill your energy stores first. Why don't we go and get some dinner together? I uh, wouldn't say no, but... You never care at all about what food tastes like, Slee. A night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaway. So at least pick something good. <laughs> All right. So are we in the finals or are we with the winner? I don't know. Challenger Karanzi. Hey, Challenger Karanzi. Got some time for some questions? First question. You and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion. Making the two of you rivals, in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? Um... That was just luck. Right. Question number two. If you wanted to tell Chandler Hop something right now, what would it be? Question three. I will tell him how strong he was. I mean, he's standing right there, but... Level with me, kiddo. You're on his thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? I absolutely do. Alright, that's enough. Crossy's already tired from battle. And you've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves di um, dinner plans with my brother, so sorry. But, uh, but clear off already, would you? Hey, for Spartan! Howdy, howdy, howdy! How's it going? How are we doing? Yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to see the birth of a new star. Phew. Famous people sure have it rough, eh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Several hours later. Lee got lost. 
This is absurd. Even Lee's never this late. Something's not right. He always does what he... He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day. And he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. Kid sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? Oh, pack it in, Pierce. I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need to see your smug look- uh, your smug mug looking like you're having a go at me. Even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging by appearances. No wonder you lost your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him head in to Rose Tower. Why would he go there? I don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late to your dinner. That was several hours ago. But why Rose Tower? What could he have to do at there at this hour? Pierce, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Karanzi or I know the way. Sheesh. My rude siblings. We're always so demanding of others. Though, I suppose... It's a real problem for me, too, if the finals are held up for any reason. I don't really hate the two of you little runts. You were good enough to beat me, after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yellow along. And we'll have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant! You're the best, Pierce! Let's go make a real ruckus! R really hop, are you joining Team Yell now? Alright, let's save that. Do I have anything to raise up Saladitz's power? Because he is just getting... He's getting crapped on something fierce. Really doesn't look like it. It's just a rare candy or two. Take him up to level 51. Flamethrower? Hells yeah! Flamethrower is a special attack move. 60. Are they using... Oh, that, that burns the knights and... Ah, oh, flamethrower is still better. Alright. Nope. I guess it is, uh... Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted with that bat um, from that battle with Kronz with you, Kronzi. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on, Kronzi. Let's help out together. Hey, it's more Pico. <laughs> a little demon. <laughs> what a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it's entirely unnecessary. Miss Aldina. Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only an authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and giving them a key. Jim and Rose does enjoy these kinds of menial games after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between a normal League staff and the one I choose? Do you think you can find me? What should we do? 
This isn't good. Uh, but I got this one. Karonzi team yells, yelling, we'll handle this. No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try and head to the plaza together, right? Yes. Alright. Let's all work together and head for Rose Tower. Let's find Alana's staff member. That bad one wearing those lame shades, alright? Well, he had grey hair. Finally, it's time for the champion, uh, the champion cup. Being super busy makes you want to slack off, doesn't it? Well, I mean, it's neither of those two. It's not you. <laughs> All right, see now. It's not you. Hey, Gronzi, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising that he'll have no choice but to load this way. We already have the key, you know. What? Blast, I turned around. And I can't escape. In that case, it's time for a Pokemon battle. You were challenged by Mark Cosmos Eric. Alright, this is a steel type. My chest will really get you going. I didn't really need you to raise pinchy speed, but okay. Um, because it is, um... Already out, I'm not gonna switch to Sand Dip because it's just gonna get destroyed. Ooh, ah, okay. Superpower! See what this does. I think that was four times effective, so I think that was a steel bug. <clears throat> Don't suddenly talk to me like that, I accidentally turned around. You gotta give us the key, That's them, them's the rules. All I need to do is hide, and I won't have to give you the key. Oh great. It's a wonder how fast that guy can run. I have no idea where he went, Gov.
How'd you find me? I need you just talk to everyone you meet. Bah! Whatever, I'll defeat you this time. Malloy? Okay. Hey, SK! SK the Don fan. <laughs> How's it going, man? Welcome in. Really? Oh my god, okay. I do like Salmon. Salmon did some, it's cute. Ooh, ow, okay, that hurt. We're oh, getting you out of there. Well, let's go! We're switching Pokemon because... Only Salon did. Okay, swap. I'm good. Just had dinner and I'm full as fuck. Nice. That's what you like to hear. Salon is probably going to go murked here. Wow, he didn't. I'm surprised. How are you, Karonzi? And how goes Pokemon? Yeah, I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright, thank you. It's the weekend. So no work. Main work for two days. The Pokemon's going good. Uh, we won the um, champ... Well, we, we made it through to the finals of the Championship Cup. And now we're trying to get to Rose Tower to go and see Lee because he's... He um, stood us up for dinner. Hey, Tan High and Pinchy leveled up. Exadrill? No, we're not switching. So I think this is a steel type. Dinner is important, yes. You are not wrong there. I even switch up my Pokemon while I was running. That's not gonna help you. Just give me the key, mate. They say um, hide in a, um, hide a tree in a forest. So I thought I could hide myself in a crowd. God damn it! Uh, I need to heal. Dishes are also important. I'm taking a cool here! You're way too observant. But I'll win this time and make my getaway. No, you're gonna lose and make your getaway. Pharaoh Seed? Okay. I've not encountered a Pharaoh Seed. Um, but... A Salandit is going to be good here again. You have some of my support. I know you can uh, keep uh, that beat going. You're the best, Marnie. Lux on my side today. Oh, he has another steel bug type. Well, is it bug or steel grass? I'm not sure which. It's one at t'other.
Is Cthulhu giving away a dishwasher by chance? Unfortunately, no, he's not. He is currently giving away a hundred dollar gift card. Or a hundred pound gift card. Eh, whichever choice of whoever finds him. Steelix. Okay, so you're literally just using steel Pokemon. That's fine with me. Marco's defeated. Hiding didn't work and Batten didn't work. Only thing now, the only thing to do now is run. Seems like you got me cornered, but I'm not giving up. An earful from Miss Elena is worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Team Yell, go find help. We'll corner that League staff member at the station together. He's a sore loser. Monorake. Oh, fucking A. There's four of them. You did a cracking job of cornering that bad League staff member, Karunzi. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Maybe I can't cheer someone on with just the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still, the only thing I can do is sing, sing my humble song. Pierce! Go Pierce. You're saying go Pierce yet you're waving a flag of Marnie. Hey, isn't that Pierce? Are you doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Go on, let's see if we can get closer. Sigazoons. <laughs> they love a good rock. We got the key, Pierce. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. Karanzi hop. Now's your chance. Go. Get out of here. Go on, Marnie. Let's go. Monorail. Uh, wish I could try get a, a counter one for cheap, maybe. True. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yell is going to have their hands for holding those bad League staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Karunzi, what should we do? Let's go ahead. Good thinking. Let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Karunzi, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you got to do is charge on ahead. An employee... An employee's... An exam... An em an employee's an employee, I guess. Seems that exact lady hit the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion hold up in sign. Wonder what he's playing. I I think Rose is a bad guy. Right from the get go, he's got to be bad, right? Times like this, when tensions and passions run high, remind me of Spike Mouth, uh, Spike Mouth in the old days. 
Some right world concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going, I'll send some support your way with a yell. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Let's go, Karunzi. Uh, no. What's my what's my Pokemon kind of like? They don't look good. No, yeah, they will make it work. Let me see if there's actually anything. Uh, I made the right choice to go and explore. move eerie impulse uh, the user's body generates an eerie impulse exposing the target to it harshly lowers the target's special attack stat nice there's another item cell battery an item held by a pokemon it boosts its sack if the holder is hit with an electric type tank, it can only be used once. That would be nice if it was multiple use, but never mind. Alright, and we go to Rose Tower. Stand on the stand on the garden hop. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Okay, I'm standing on it as well. Listen, Karonzi. I don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When we get up to the um, up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Which is all well and good, but unless but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Holy fucking fuck off, Alina. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See? If Miss Elena says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Good luck, mate. All right, Elijah. Screw it, rock slide. To be honest, I'm, I should just go with it. Alright, you missed your opportunity to beat Pinchy. Pinchy for the win! to give up my pocket money. Losing means I'm back in the red. My my bonus. My dreams of finally affording a house, house of my own. We need to speak with the Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Go on the lift. The Chairman's at the top of the building. Alright. We're nearly at Sir Chairman Rose. 
Oh, and Lee Wickerman. Go on, Kronzi, let's crack on. Yeah, but I, I, I need heals. Is anyone going to heals me? Can, can you heals? Welcome, this is the front desk of Rose Tower. Okay, no, you can't heals. You're, you're not going to heal me, okay. Uh, no, that's a bit overkill. This is taking ages. Uh, this is not the top. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Because trainers. You two are the <laughs> you two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in Gala's League gym challenge. Yeah, I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere with our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold, the glorious high-tech elevator of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Marco Cosmo Construction. Alright, time for a dual battle. Jane and Mateo. Kafant and Bronzog. Alright. Uh, Stealth Rock is not gonna help here. Let's use that. It's not gonna be very effective because that's a steel type. To be honest, my move's not gonna be very effective. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised Pinchy is faster than them. I mean, Pinchy's thinking about camping, though, so... Cloaked itself in a mystical veil. Ooh. Right, let's see what Rock Slide does here. Wait, it's not going to do much. We've created an extraordinary lift that's safe even for a Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmo Construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. That's fine. If I've been defeated, I have a, I have little choice but to especially retreat. Yet I must ask, ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevator in Rose Tower is constructed so that only... Um, that own so that only the floor ascends but that present that presents some danger thus the presence of the walls constructed of light uh, you can thank Marco Cosmo construction for providing this wonderful technology as well wait 
So the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time. We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let's heal them up. Thank you. Thank you, Hop. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now above 500. You're now 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have any? Do you have a life insurance policy? <laughs> Who, who's the American company that always seems to call about wanting to talk about life insurance? The steel type Pokemon. Kind of Mawali. you stop sending out the steel well, I mean admittedly the entire group uses steel type Pokemon. Come on Hop, you've got Cinderace, just use Cinderace. Oh Gear Grind is a two through five move? Let's deal with you. Thank you. Seeing as he refuses to use Cinderace. So Zen Headbust not gonna do anything, mate. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. That's what MC Construction said. This building... This building's well over 500 feet tall. You said I was over a thousand. That's as tall as around 100 Machoke standing on top of each other. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. This is painful. Please tell me this is the last pair. You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I got no fear of heights. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty Marco Cosmo Air. Adelaine and Justin. Let me guess. More steel types. I don't think Stunfisk is a steel type. I guess it is a steel type. A 
Because I've not got any other Pokemon backing them up, there's no point in me laying um, Stealth Rocks. Hey! Managed to paralyze it. Awesome. Alright, the Steelix isn't a non-issue at the moment. I mean, to be honest, actually, yeah, the Stumpfink would be um, a metal type or steel type because it's a bear trap. But to be honest, if. Fucking really. Thanks, Hop. You're a real bro, you know that. At least it targets Steelix, thank you. Normally, if the Pokemon that you were targeting faints, it doesn't redirect the attack. I'm glad they fixed that. Hey, Inteleon, Pinching Guadavar leveled up. Nobody can beat Marco Cosmo Air uh, when it comes to our dedication to our work. You're all you're all very dedicated. Congratulations. You ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? Don't presume to meet the chairman. You're not even on the same level, with such a great man. You must know that in high rises such as this one. The higher up you go, the more important people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top. Not just at this tower, but all of Gala. I I am still adamant that the guy is evil as, as fuck. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp. Let's do this. Well, we're gonna fight um, what's her face, Orlenia. Bronzy, stand your guard. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So, you got through all of the special stuff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainer's hand picked by Champion Leon himself. But, I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. You shall be first, Karonzi. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle, and thus will lose heart. In this state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Dude, she's... She has gone crazy. Oleana. Crosslass. You an ice type user? No, oh, we can Dynamax here. Or is Frost? No, Frostlass is uh, what? An ice ghost type? Of course you'd use Hex. You bitch. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my Pokemon.
Rock slide it is. But you can go as quick as you want, I'm still fast, I'm still more powerful. I mean, if you attack me, you've beaten me. Well, I'm taking you out with me. So glad Burn activates at the end of the turn. Good night, Pinchy. I mean, I'm gonna run the risk that she is a ice type user. Serena. I don't even know what that is. Flame throw and see what happens. Uh, didn't hurt, okay, cool. You can lower my attack all you want, I'm a special attacker. Mulotic. Hey, it's, um... Oh, I forget the monster in Monster Hunter Rise. But that's what that reminds me of. Shit. Oh, I'm bo- I'm balls. I'm balls there. I guess the one thing I actually don't have anything to deal with is water types. Excuse me. God damn it, stop using healing moves. Thank you. So it does have a, an evolution, I just haven't got it yet. Well, you're a poison type. So it's and you got a you got an evolution. Oh wait, is Pinchy dead as well? Oh, fuck. I didn't even see what was coming out. This is my last Pokemon. Seriously! Alana's gotta finish this! 
Kapador! Wow! I, my assumption would be we're both gonna Dynamax, so... I don't think it's time for some... Giant Ten Highs. I think I'll treat you to something truly- uh, is this just Gigantamax version? Oh yeah, it's a Gigantamax version. Didn't stand a chance, champ. Didn't stand a chance. Thank you, Ten High. She, she looks so calm down. Sigh, I wasn't able to win. Lana, you really are a hopeless woman. No, you're not. You put up a decent fight, actually. Better than most other people. Ah, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't have tried to delay you further. However, all, that was ne all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Double Karanzi, you and Crustle are unstoppable. Everything I did to further the chairman's own goals. Leon, we discussed this a hundred times already. And still you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion. And I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to count tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this. This madness. It is to carry out that championship match. That's what Gala wants. And what I want is what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Gala region stretched out before us. You know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennia from now? The people of Gala today will no longer will no longer even exist. What Gala wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years? Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give you my word, I'll help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee. You never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all the team yell oddballs. They're all, they all helped us out to get here. I must apologise to you, Hop. If we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Karonzi. Let's head back to the hotel. And we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy.
If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose. And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. I'm sure it's sure to be one for the history books. It's our match is gonna cause the dark this is like the second coming of the darkest day. I think that's what he's trying to avert. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We No. I am going to change the course of history. Or not. Or he's literally trying something. The next evening. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had butterflies in my stomach since I woke up. <gasps> hey, it's no it's the normal people again. Challenger Karanzi. The finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't learn your lessons yesterday? You need another helping of Hop and his trusty Cinderace. Hop, you didn't even use Cinderace. What are you playing at? No, wait, please. I'm not like those other league staff. I'm a good one. Uh, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Elena can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've uh, no need to worry about today's staff. All of us here are here for the right reasons. Yeah, you've all got your normal coloured hair. You're not all greyed haired. Clones. Well, that's what she says. I guess we'll trust her then, yeah, Karunzi? Let's go. I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to the uh, Widen Stadium? Yes. Then let's be on our way. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, let's have a save. Let's go. Actually, no, no, no. Don't do that. I mean, my Pokemon should be fully healed, right? Yes. Awesome. Karanzi! Yeah, yeah. Hop, we literally just saw each other, mate. <laughs> this is it. Here at Widen Stadium, the greatest stadium in all Gala. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate. And set the world on fire. And about to sneeze, apparently. No? Yes, maybe. <laughs> Ugh, I was right! Excuse me! Terribly sorry! So get yourself checked in. So, yeah, our fans here. Karazi Challenger. Uh, Challenger Karazi, remember the semi-finals and finals are just speed bumps? And you're way defeating Leon, you have to win. Well, the finals is my fight against Leon. Oh my goodness, Grozzy, I wonder who'll win. You can do it. Give it your best shot. No regrets. No regrets indeed. Challenger Karonzi, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semi finals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the final. What? Whoever makes it through this finals bracket will win the right to challenge the ch Alright. We're going to be fighting Badi because he's taking over the fairy gym. I, I need I need potions.
All right, there we go. So actually, I should probably buy some revives as well, shouldn't I? Sorted! Let's go. Yeah, one's missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I'd say I'd aim, I'd say I aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spike Mouth reclaim their pride, and to see them smile once again. Long time no see. This will be a different sort of battle than you face in the gym challenge. Those are basically test matches, but this, this is a serious battle. My mask. Feels like we're going to fall off. I'm going to win my way through every round, and then I'll be the one that's taking on Leon. If I don't, then I'll have failed to replay Duraladon and the rest of my team for their hard work. My first match is against Raihan of all people. Well, rotten luck. But even if he cha um, changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easy. I won't be putting on a, a sh uh, showy battle for the crowd. I'll show everyone what a severe battle truly is. I'll always press on and challenge myself so that I can uh, go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. Still, I don't know... Uh, it's the opening ceremony for the finals. When you're ready, please go for the head to the pitch. Okay, yeah. Will you be heading onto the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. I'm ready. Then in you go. Great. So it's like, what, 1v8 one, one or something? Probably goes without saying, but hello, go oh, whatever. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I okay. Uh, so, on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the final matches begin. Thanks, Lee. Wait, you. Yep, it's for D. Who's that? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I'm but the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. But D, he's a challenger endorsed by the chairman Royce himself. I have a score to settle with challenger Karanzi here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. An unexpected turn of events. Former challenger D has come for one last battle. We are currently debating on what to do with challenger D. So all our viewers, both here and in the stadium at home, and run on the telly, we ask you that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to do something. I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Orlina who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere, drags me off to a boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day. And here I am, pouring my heart out to you. Well, I've never, um, well, I've never even lost my call before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Badi's sudden interruption. 
Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Karanzi? My will hasn't been broken yet. Alright. Alright, Paddy. Oh, yeah, he's now a gym leader. Gym leader, Paddy. Fairy Steel. We face too much to quit now. There's no chance, uh, choice but to win. That's gonna hurt. All right, that's one down. Um, Guadalupe, very psychic. To be honest, ten high is like the only real choice I've got here. Damn it! No, you, you do not kill off brand anime. To be honest, actually, Ten Eye is actually the incorrect choice. Rapidash. God, it's the fairy version of Rapidash. Get what? Course, because poison. Titanic's probably actually going to be a terrible choice because his special defense is really low. He's a physical defender. That'll do. Katarini, no. This one of the coming special. Think you're going to win? Is that your final Pokemon? I think it is, right? Oh, 
I'm not gonna Dynamax. Bro, you, yeah, you're gonna Gigantamax. Come on, wanna see what this looks like, actually. Actually, it doesn't look that much different. Oh, that's a problem! Alright. Time for a Hydro Cannon. Well, and um, the Kamehameha Wave, even. Excuse me. Okay. Please don't hit yourself. Thank you. That was a rough fight. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. He seems to have embraced being the fairy type gym leader. Well, no lost. It looks like Challenger Badi was no match for Challenger Karonzi and his trusted team. Hey Badi, that was an awesome match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But this just isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. But if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans! With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. Tatum is full of the voices cheering on these young, these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Karanti, please head back to the locker room so that you can rest up in that unexpected match. Why, well, thank you, because my team got wrecked. No, he was the fairy type gym leader. Rather surprising for the for the Challenger Badi to barge in there like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head on to the pitch. The finals are about to begin. Probably should have saved it there. 
probably save it here, right? The time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup, Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face off in the first battle of the first round are... The trainer endorsed by Champion himself, Chandra Karanzi, and his opponent is... The Raging Wave, the Master of Water Types, Nessa. I don't think I've got anything to deal with water types on my team. God damn it! <laughs> I can tell you you've grown far stronger than when you face me in Holbury Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? Because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. And I'm going, I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. Yeah, you probably aren't going to because I've got nothing to deal with you. Alright, this is a sort of banger. I don't even know what the hell you are. Tonya might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash away your team. I mean, you look like a bug. Alright, double sword dance. So I think you're a you look like a bug type Pokemon to me. Yeah, you're a bug type. King. What the hell just happened there? Barrascuda.
wish. Go use the full restore. I'm still gonna squish you. Squish. But to be honest, I'm better off just sticking with this. Uh, Alright, um... This is a risk. It's meant to be super effective, but because water is strong against rock, it cancels each other out, so... Or it just didn't proc it the first time for some reason? I don't know. It's a remix version. Alright, time for giant crab break chat! It's Zora Magnaros! He's standing up! Macros versus Shala Ibala. Well, Shala is Ishvala, I think.
His Kamehameha is stronger than mine. To be honest, I'm just trying to delay him as much as possible. You get some life back. Thank you very much. What? All right. Boom! Headshot. Two Pokemon left alive there. You had no problem handling a uh, surging might, it's no wonder that you won. And the winner is Kuranzi! He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now he has pulled it off again! You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamaxed partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that's I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I'd paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Gull has got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team! So now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of our first round will begin shortly. Who have I got? Oh, I've got Alistair. Okay. Alright, that round's all good. So you can sit down. Awesome. I wonder if it changes up who you face if you were to like redo this. Because I assume this is a like repeatable shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we've already had the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challenges, which two will be left for the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we've we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at the, this year's Championship Cup as the former challenger, gym challenger Badi stormed the stage where Kronzi was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. And now to take him on, here comes gym leader Alistair, the boy known far and wide as the silent school age star. Manister, you look well. I remember you. You were the strongest gym challenger I had, uh, so I reckon we sh sh battle. Great, more. Oh, fuck. At least I got two psychic types with me. Ghost type. 
Everyone's looking. I want to hide, but I'll fight. Okie dokie. That's bitching. Just gonna do what I can. Hey, Santi, how's it going, man? Thunder Punch! You might as well have stuck with Rock Tomb. Good, just uh, in from seeing an old friend. Nice, man. Very nice. Yeah, doing all right. Just doing the um, the f fucking finals. I didn't. I honestly thought there wasn't that much left to this game to do, but I was wrong. There's still a shit ton to the story. You just disabled the move I'm using, haven't you? God damn it. Alright, rock slide. I can see that. I literally thought there was like an hour and a half. Like, I go in, I beat Marnie, I beat Hop, I get to Leon. But that whole tournament between the end, the, like the last challenges that make it through the challenger the challenger trials or whatever is its own tournament that you have to win then you've got another tournament with the gym leaders like what on earth all right senai is 57 sound it is 54 just solo yeah i'm switching You're whatever. Excuse me. Oh great, we copied weak armor. Rick my life. Wait a minute. I thought Psychic was meant to be good against Ghost type. Fucking A. Unless that's not a Ghost type. you hexed. Ow! I'm... I'm screwed. What's even strong against this fucking thing? There, I'm gonna like Wadavar. Fuck you. 
All right, off-brand anime, let's go. Come on, Tenhai. And the lure. Right, keep out. Is it dark? Okay. I'll stop using psychic moves. Because it a psychic was strong against go ghosts before, wasn't it? When did they change it? Don't remember. Okay, fair enough, man. I still want to name. Uh, I want to catch one of those, and I want to catch. Well, I want to catch the sex. I think there's obviously there's different ones, and name them after the freaking characters from Beauty and the Beast. Edo Ten... No, not Edo Ten, sorry. As a full theme party with Litwick as well, yes. <laughs> yes! You got that right, Covalency. I wasn't going to try and escape, Gengar. By the power of Tenhai, you will yield. Am I going to have Raihan or Kabu? Is it Kabu? Maybe my mask kept me from seeing how strong you really are. Challenger Karonzi has done it again! What a performance! He sails right through! Crumbs. That was ace. Give it your best out there. I'm mad about strong trainers. Our seemingly unstoppable challenger is headed for the final round, but who will he meet there? 
Will it be the eye pass on- Oh, it's Pierce, that was it. Will it be the eye pass on Dynamax in Pierce? Or the Dragon Lord himself, Raihan? The next match will decide it, so don't go far from your screens. Of course it's Raihan. These are the results of the second round. Whoa, Raihan's glorious defeated, gloriously defeated Pierce. All right. What am I, how am I gonna deal with this? Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Karanzi. I thought my bro could um, get revenge for me, but you lost to Raihan. You looked so sloppy out there that people were gonna think we're weak. Uh, we're both weak because you were, uh, we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone um, in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. All right, I get it. But that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Karonzi. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in with a come in for a chin work before that final match. Right hand's waiting for you out on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. As long as my Pokemon are healed. Do you know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm just going to go in with this team. Right. Gonna lurk and have a nap. Hey, no worries, Tati. Go and have a nap. I'm sure I'll speak to you over the weekend, my friend. Do take care. Here it is. The last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion, Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star, Chandra Karonzi? Or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival? The tremor of the Tamer of Dragons, Raihan! You're already something else, kid. You really made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion self endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chooses you. So, I've got to first approve I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for a one-on-one -on -one bat- Now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already. But if you think I'm the same Rohan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Alright, Rohan, let's go. That's Drowned, it gets sunlight- Okay, sure. I don't even- you don't even get a chance to read any of that shit. This is gonna be bad though, because that's a fire type, and he is going to wreck Vinci. Oh, he's rock. Alright, oh, yeah, it's got a harsh sunlight so we can use solar beam in one turn. Enough to stop me. I have some decency, mate. Come on. Shit.
Let's go with that. Alright, Pinchy, you can wake up any minute now. Any turn now, Pinchy, come on. Go and use it in one turn, mate. Pinchy. Thank you, Pinchy. Gudra. Another raid. Hey, the... That's so gooey. <laughs> Space Rock, Warlock, Ivalanche. Hello, hello, Growly. Hello, welcome in, welcome in. Let us give a shout out for Growly. Anyone in my chat, if you are not following Growly, why don't you go on over there and give him a follow? What are you playing? You're playing some Minecraft. Tell me about it. How did it go? What were you up to? And welcome in. One of you lovely raiders, if you do not know who I am, my name is Karanti, I am a variety streamer. I play a ton of different content across Xbox, Switch, PC, and board games, as well as a few other things as well. How you doing? Doing Flocklaw. Ah, okay, yeah. I saw something about that over on Twitter. I'm doing good, though. I'm doing really good. Right now, we are in the final round of the... We're in the final match of the final round of the Championship Cup. Yeah, it is that convoluted. Apparently, they couldn't just say, Hey, here's four people for you to fight. The Elite Four, and then you got the champion. All right. I, I kind of want a Gudra now. It's different, like, it is, it is different. I wasn't expecting it. I mean, it's, it has been interesting, it's been fun. One thing I, I was um, wondering is, obviously I assume once you beat the game, you can redo the tournament. Um, if different gym leaders will win, or if it's always the same gym leaders that you end up fighting. Or if it's kind of randomly, randomly generated. Hey, Tenhai is 58. Benji's almost level 60, though. Turtonator! No. Oh, it's this thing. I always thought it was more interesting in the anime compared to here's just four people you have to fight. Um, you have to fight them now. I mean, true. I 
Uh, in the uh, yeah, I mean, in, in an anime format, having a tournament means more content, and you also get a training arc. I don't plan on countering it. I'm just going to. Slowly will you down with kisses. I'm looking forward to Legends Arceus though. Uh, it could be an incredible game to take the franchise forwards. Yes, that is true. That game is going to be interesting. I mean, the, ga the, ga it need the game needs some... Sh I think the, the entire thing needs some shaking up. This is all good and all of that, but they need, they need something new, really, I think. Flygon. No, we're going to keep the same. That's what I figured. That was over quickly. <laughs> I mean, I like the formula, but it's basically been the same since Red and Blue. Um, it would be interesting to see how they change it up, but I'm hoping whatever they do, it goes well. But I mean, you can have, like, the Pokemon can, like, target the trainers now in Arceus. And what I'm hoping for is I I'd like to see um, a Gen 2 version of um, the Let's Go games. Or another, or just another generation of Let's Go. Doesn't necessarily need to be the second generation. Don't want to learn Toxic. Kinda, but I mean, these both... This has a chance to poison. I want something, I want something, it, it, having utility is fine, but I think well, I want something to do damage as well at the same time. I say it's last Pokemon. If it is, it's time for Inteleon and some headshots. Oh, so somehow I say that, it's time for Inteleon and some Kamehameha waves. If they do another let's go, you need to get XP outside of catches. Yeah? Oh, feck, I made a, I made a bad choice here. I think. Commit to the choice, commit to the choice! <laughs> Oh no, I wasn't exactly sold on Let's Go. But it was a good strategy to get the app players over to the mainline games. I just missed actually battling Pokemon instead of throwing Pokeballs at them. Yeah, I, that's fair. I mean, it's... It's definitely, it's definitely a bridge. It's definitely for more casual players. That is for... That's for sure. Did he just take a selfie holding his Dynamax ball? Alright, time to use a Kamehameha, a Kamehameha on this uh, skyscraper.
And to be honest, they're probably not doing it because they don't have, um... It, the, the original Let's Go's may not have sold well enough, but also they would need to find a, um... They need to find two Pokémon to be the, um... The, the, the faces for both versions, and I don't know which ones they would be. Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it. Bye. Well, the um, Brodson was looking rather sad as well. Challenger Karonzi sees his victory! My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself. It just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up. Reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 56, Challenger Karonzi has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. Magic up and Bidoof. Oshawott was my first ever Pokemon from black and white, so there's another reason I'm looking forward to Arceus. And therefore, Oshawott is my favourite. That's... that is fine. Um, what was my favourite? My first one was Bulbasaur. But it's not my favourite. Alright. The big moment's finally here, eh? I just came to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, in the showdown between my big brother and my rival, who should I really want to win more? <laughs> Felice! Right, you reckon I should cheer for Karanzi too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. Uh, so you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Yes! Right. I'm gonna do another save. Um, and I actually need to go and run and have a quick bio break and I'd like to grab another drink. So while we're just doing that, what I would like to do is say we'll have a few words from our hashtag not sponsors and I will be right back.
And I return to you, chance. Hashtag not sponsored indeed. Go okay, back and see. Diamond and Pearl is what? Gen 4? Thank you for the Hydra. Um, is it? So we've had Leaf Green and Fire Red. Um, Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, it's what? It's Alpha Sapphire and... Omega Ruby. That was on the 3DS, and that wasn't that long ago, so I think it's Gen 4? I don't recall there being any other of the, um... Double take names. Thank you, Vespartan. Thank you. Um, Diamond and Diamond and Pearl was a generation I never actually played. I, I also didn't play the um, Sa um, Ruby and Sapphires until the Alpha and Omega versions. Alright. <sighs> so, what do we have? So, I don't even know what his team's gonna be. So, we're going Talion for the Charizard. And we've got Salandip for the Grookey. I've just got to hope that the rest of the team can carry. Like, Tenhai is a pretty damn good carry. Yeah, I'm just thinking how many remakes it is to the Reese uh, Vavillion in 6. I mean, I, I guess just look at how often they are like the, the time between each of the remakes and they'll probably tell you how long it will take until they reach gen 6 I'd probably say we're about eight years away I think it might be like every four years they do the uh, remakes <laughs> the tents still air on the pitch. And the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is a but is also a bit cruel. Oh, they want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that. Perhaps you love pushing past that fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got... To seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world. And I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gala Regions champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team. We will use all of our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Alright, let's see how we do against Leon here. Wait! Hold on! Hey, look up at the monitor! What, what is that on the big screen? Oh, fuck. What, Rose? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, there, Leon and Crony. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. For the sake of Gala's future, of course. But I'm a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I knew it! I knew he was evil! I called it! I'm sorry it's come to this. But it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refused to listen.
Lee, Kronzi. That video stream. That was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problems a thousand years in the future? I've got to go and see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. I fucking called it. Will someone pick up that goddamn phone? But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother, Karonzi. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all, dar all dark all once, ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing that about. And where did he... where did we even hear that name? Statue of the Hero. The Statue of the Hero in Motor Stoke. Sonya said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the Darkest Day with the Sword and Shield Pokemon. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though. Right? We should try and find them, Karonzi, but where to start looking? Uh, back in the Slumbering Wield. That's it, Karonzi. I'm sure we've got to go to the Slumbering Wield. That illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the Slumbering Wield. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Yeah, as long as you can be damn masterful so I can catch it. <laughs> huh? Karonzi? Huh? Now I completely forgot about the champion match. What are you two doing here? I mean, you've been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonya. The chairman saw to that, and to sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What, nanny? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering world? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hamlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? Darkest day is the name of the black storm that nearly brought the Gala region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Bronzy? Um, to search for the shield Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, that the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. They may be just what we need to beat back the Black Storm. Okay, here, take this. You should go into the head of the Sombering World. I'll catch up to you once I'm done looking for something that's been bothering me. Bye, Mum. Bye, Sonya. All that matters is that you can do what you can. You become a fine trainer, after all. Ready for this, Gronzy? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it'd bother us now. We've both grown loads stronger and have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wooloo that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. You guys have fun.
these Pokemon are probably going to be a hell of a lot stronger than what we were looking at. Hey, look! S gentleman, um... Coughing. Gentleman wheezing, even. See items to collect, We've gotta go and pick them up. Misty seeds. Is that Corviknight? God, this place is confusing. Oop. Oh, there's Hop. Phantom Force. Uh, the user vanishes somewhere, then strikes the target on the next turn. This move hits even if the target protects itself. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'll come back here and grab these later. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. You had to mention it. Oh look! Hello! Ooh, both of them are there. Reeled. Lorad. They really are here. The sword and the, and the shield Pokemon. I knew it! Hey! Where are you going? We need your help over here! You two, what in the world are you doing? Well, come off it, son. You must have seen that, right? Those, those sword and shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us. Then they disappeared into the forests. Pop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from the other regions, and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon, Zakane, and the shield Pokemon, Zemazenta. Um, the writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering world, some time long, long ago. Did they really? Tell us, Sonya. Thanks for digging into it. Even if it was just an illusion or whatever, um, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield that those two carry are still here, too. No, they're, they're not, they didn't carry any. They are the sword and shield. God damn it. Uh, they may have been sleeping in the slumbering world right next to your hometown all this time. Perhaps that's why no one has entered the deepest parts of the woods for so long. Ooh, a shrine. Let's 
Sonya would want to see this. Would you take a look at that, Karonzi? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. The music is cool as well. See that, Karanzi? The sword and the shield. The legends were really true. You attain the rusted shield. Um, it is said that a hero used this shield to halt a terrible disaster in ancient time, but it's grown rusty and worn. That sailed it. I'm taking the sword. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you touch it. <laughs> if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if those rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but... Well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they'll bring us some good luck. <laughs> Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still sli uh, asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go and help Lee. This is all the help we've got. And it looks like like the freaking sword and the stone. This might be like the um ah, what's the lake from the Arthurian legend? If anyone's gonna help Lee now, I guess it's just you and me, mate. He's probably at Hamlock's it's at Hamlock's Haven trying to keep the darkest day at bay. So what do you say, Karanzi? Wanna grab a flying taxi and head there? Not yet. Can't say I blame you, but I'm even a bit gutted to have to come all this way. Chasing legends, only to find a rusty sword and shield. I just want to leave normally. Let's see if Sonya has anything to say. Sonya's gone, okay. Let's go back up to Hop then. What's the bang? Hop's gone. Oh no, Hop is still here. Cool. Well, let's get out of this gloomy forest and fly back to Hammerlock. <laughs> well, if it isn't Karanzi and Hop. It's a real shame the way things had turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match and something like this happens. And Chairman Rose thinking that the energy pouring out from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galdar's future. Or Galar's future. It all seems a bit mad if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm going on I'm going ahead and I'm gonna help my brother. And he's gone. The help never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders are working together with the city's Pokemon, and we've got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion? Save everyone in the Gala region? Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger. Along with his fiercest rival, all teaming up against the Darkest Day? I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger. Into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Let's go, chat. Oh dear. G Gym challenger, you must help me. I, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamax for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan was able to subdue my Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant will collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head down into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternius, or Eternatus. 
Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what caused, causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokémon in the Gala region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother too, but who knows what is going on. Challenger Karonzi. Up above, the champion is facing the darkest day. Yes, this lift will take you to the underground power plant. Uh, now I'll use some users to um, try to with the chairman rose, okay. What? Well, what is all this? We need to help Lee! And what do you plan on doing, Jim uh, Challenger? Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day. Or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon. Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I'm doing something terrible. And I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the Gala region with a limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That is why we've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused the ruckus around Hammerlock? That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Gala. Marco Cosmos' Rose. The world's next woohoo Pokemon BDSP release. Release the download for pre orders for the eShop. Nice! I'm getting two physical copies and I've, they should be arriving sometime next week. But hey, hey, um, Myth, how's it going, man? Welcome in, welcome in. Hmm. Escalibur, okay. I assume you're using steel types completely as well, Rose? Alright, I I like this music. Oh my god, you're joking! Could you? I'm getting Pearl and Legend of Arceus. I pick I um, purchased both copies. Um, I haven't pre-ordered Ar um, Arceus yet. Alright, that's a bad move. You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Do you think that's unfair? Uh, you know what? Screw it. Um... Because you're a steel type. My friend is getting diamond, I think. So we usually just trade over version exclusive studio. That's fair. I got both because I was unsure as to which version I which version I wanted to play. 
I've got, like, I think most, like, I've got a ton of people there getting either version. I think I'm fucked. Oh, okay, cool. I got first tip. Rose is pretty easy for me. Um, I one shot all of his Pokemon with my Inteleon. I think my Inteleon was like level 70 at the time. Ah, okay, yeah, mine's like 58. And to be honest, he should be fine because I'm using Mystic Water and like Sniper Shot is just like broken. But we should be fine here because I've got Flamethrower. And I'm fast as fuck. Boys! Oh! It's quicker than me? Uh, I think Sniper Shot is... M it shouldn't be any more powerful than Hydro Pump. But I think it's... It might be better on Inteleon because of Intel Because I think it's a, it's a stab move. Well, Hydro Pump isn't a stab move for Inteleon. As long as I'm quicker, I'm good. Nah, both are stab, but since Sniper Shot is a hits 100% of the time, it feels broken for the damage it does, especially if you have high special attack stand, Teleon. Also had its hidden ability. Okay, I don't think my Inteleon has its hidden ability. I thought Stab were only if the... Um, if the move attribute match, not just the move type. So obviously Inteleon is a high special attacker. Unless Hydro Pump is also a special attack, I can't remember. Copper Ajar. No, we're going to keep going. Oh-ho. That's my last Pokemon. Hmm, this isn't looking too good. Well, you're about to Dynamax, Copper Rishar. I, I'm going to have to do the same. We're going to have Giant... Giant Lizard. I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. Now we're to find out whether he gets a priority move or something. The G-Max move might be priority. If they are, that's annoying as hell. I didn't one shot it. Shit. All right, time to get some headshots in and hope for the best. Stab is just typing, so all water types have one times um 1.5% times power, and if it's weak to water, it's three times, and if it's um, if it's double weak, it's 5.5 times, and I think to top it all of a crit, you can do... Oh, okay. 
That's a lot of damage. All right, time for some boom headshots. That didn't do much at all. I think snipe shot is uh, 90. So yeah, like hydro pump. Hydro pump is. Is it 110 or is it 130? What's the other one after high? What's the other one other than hydro pump? Cause there's one up. There's another one, isn't there? All right, 10 high. Let's go. Yeah. No, no, because of this hydro... Is it hydro cannon? Hydro cannon has like... I think hydro cannon has like 130 attack. One of them has 130 attack. I know that much. I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That sure was satisfying. Yeah, 110 power, 80% accuracy. Most impressive, Karonzi. I wouldn't have expected any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest, the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Gala region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. And I am terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus. Uh, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed! And just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love to make speeches. But I just think I can't stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. I trust you'll be going too, right hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you. You too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We learned how to be strong thanks to Gym Challenger. G thanks to the Gym Challenge you organized. Do I get? Did I get a heal? Is the question. <laughs> Probably fucking not. No. Okay. Um. Can I get a heal up in here? Salandit has it so rough. Salandit dies in every fight it's been in so far. Of course, I won't stop you. Head up via the lift if you wish. If a whale, use wa if a whale lord uses water spout... Um, it's health, and it's health is still green. It's base power is roughly 150. Just use the thing... Uh, just the thing is the power gets weaker as your Pokemon's health gets lower. Which is why it's best to use on my ward. Uh, that's fair. Alright, Karonzi, I'm ready for anything, are you? Of course. 
Works out anything less from my rival. Now come on, we gotta go help Lee. Alright, uh, actually, let's have a quick save. Uh oh. That's an angry looking dragon! Ah, oh, wants it. Um, uh, Brine does 130 base power if your Pokemon health is below 50%. So combine Water Spout and Brine and on the same Pokemon and you have a tank. <laughs> That's true. You came to help me in spite of the danger? Thanks, Op. And you, Karonzi. You two really have grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. It seems like, uh, some... It seems like some power of Eternus's was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members have really worn Eternus um, down. Now, if I can simply catch it on a Pokeball, we should be able to get be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will go back. We'll be back to normal. So watch this. We're gonna be a real championship catch. Why do you keep saying championship? Please stop. I, it's just gonna, like, shatter the Pokeball. I was expecting the just the puck would just shatter. Alright. Alright, Pinchy, we let's do this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Fuck it, smack down! Oh great, it's a dragon type. Of course it's a dragon type. That means Titanic at least is going to have a field day here. That's going to hurt. Shit, if it's got... Oh fuck no. Titanic is going to have a terrible time. Uh, Quadva, maybe? Uh. Um. Doesn't it gleam? That's awesome, okay, so two of its moves does not affect me. Keep going, keep going. Just, you should be just using flamethrower here, mate. Guess what? What do you mean I can't throw a Pokeball? Fine! Dazzling Gleam! Eternatus blasting off again! Uh oh. We done fucked up, chap! We done fucked up! Oh shit! Um. 
Wow, it's huge. Let's take it together, Grunzi. Oh, I can't use any moves. All oh, right, fucking pressure. I forgot. We found the sword and shield in the slumbering wheel. Okay, but I mean. Bronze, use the shield. It might be old and rusted, but. Um, there's got to be some use to it. That's cool. That cool. That cool. Fusion? Fusion? Ha ha! <laughs> hey, it's Pinchy! Intrepid sword. Attack rose, okay. Dauntless shield. A defense increasing. Oh! Okay, they're, they're their own thing, I guess. Uh, I'm actually going to switch to Guadava. That's why I changed, because I knew he was going to use moves that wouldn't be effective on, um, Guadava. <laughs> Jesus, okay, that looks more like a fucking fish. That's awesome. Super effective, well, that's not good. Uh, 
I'll just use Psychic, I guess. See what that does. Fish attack, go! Alright, so he's weak to psychic moves. Awesome. Why did you use double edge when your Wooloo is so close to death? Oh my god! Hop! Oh. You're a fool! You're a fool of a took! So we're getting we'll be getting our own palette mutes in a moment. Max ooze. Oh wow, okay. He just doesn't give a shit. Unless Eternat the Eternatus fight is cheating and he's just using any old fucking move. Alright, and Sally on. That's it, Harry. Um, that's it. Hurry, Cronson. Trying to catch now. Okay, yeah, we'll catch. He's gonna use an Ultra Ball. Alright, Disco Ball, you're gonna explode on me. Hey! I want my Palamute! <laughs> Give me back my Palamute! Ah, <laughs> uh, why didn't? Alright. Three days later. Still using the original backpack. So, Chairman Rose turned himself in then. Never thought I'd live to see the day. He awoke Eternatus and nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what you sow, I say. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are back to normal now. We really did defeat Eternatus together with Zamazanta and Zykan. And still, Lee. Well, he's being Lee, insisting on having a championship match with you today. It's a bit much, isn't it? You sure you're up for it? I'm, even sh <laughs> I'm not even sure about him. 
He was out cold and pretty hurt, and hurt pretty badly himself during that all my mess. I do understand how you feel, though. Feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you and him finally face off in a serious match. So come on, the match will be at Wyden Station. Where else? It's tempting to use Eternatus. It's very tempting. It's a poison dragon. Nice. I'm not going to use it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the team that I got. They saw me, they've seen me through the entirety of the tournament. They'll see, they'll see me through this fight. At last, the final match, Challenger Kronzi! Um, yeah, this way, I think. Hey, Jesse! Welcome in, welcome in, how's it going? Ronzi Donzi do hey, Steven, how's it going, man? Welcome in. It's been a while, Jesse, how you doing? How you doing, Steven? How's it going, man? Y'all here just for the end of the game, I think. Hopefully, maybe. Mm hmm. I didn't get my um, Palamutes. I'm a, I'm a little upset. You made it all the way to the championship match. You can't lose now. You have to win, Karonzi. You have to beat the unbeatable Leon and bring a new era to Gala. That's the intention. I are the champion. Still knackered. Steven, I can understand, man. You're probably going to be knackered for a day or two. Hanging in there. Finals coming up. Uh, so it's a test till the... So it's tests till the middle of December. Oh. That's a pain. Good luck with your finals, though. This is the final match against the champion. The championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? I'm ready to beat him. Then change into your uniform and head out onto the pitch. How have you been? I have been doing well. Work has been a bit hectic, but... Eh... It is what it is. It's what you uh, what you have to do. No day off till Monday. Ooh, man, that sucks. But I mean, it's it's weekend, weekend and retail kind of. You, you you're lucky if you get a day off during a, a weekend retail. Well, let's get as much sleep as you can. I'd say, man. My matches are always sold out, but this, I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Karunzi. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Gala region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zakaian and Zamazenta. I couldn't even have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. <laughs> I mean, to the end, Leon, yes, you've got to keep thinking you're going to win, man. Now that I've seen what kind of strength you possess as, a, as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong the champion truly is. Come on, Karanzi, let's make this a final match that will go down in Gala's history. No, a match that will change Gala forever. We're going to have an absolute champion side. Would you stop saying champion? You're like Naruto and Dati Bio, motherfuckers. All right, let's go, Leon. Well, thank you very much for the 10 bits, Jesse. That's something you didn't know, but that unfortunately isn't the right amount to summon Lord Cthulhu. But I do appreciate the attempt. 
Hey, Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Indeed. Um, I actually done a Living Dex in Pokemon Let's Go. And I will be doing a Living Dex in this at some point. Um, but not just yet. I'll wait to just get the story out the way so I'm ready for the, di the, di the Diamond and Pearl remakes next week. Alright, what are you starting with, Leon? Agalish. What well, bang? These are all going to be like level 60. There's one of the Jupiter champions that's he get the crown fired up. Fuck, they're level 62. Oh my god, I am in for a rough fucking time here. Hmm. Need to know more info about this Cthulhu. <laughs> hey, if you want a quick rundown, so basically, there is a secret um, alert anywhere between 1 and 1,000 bits has a chance of summoning Lord Cthulhu. Um, whoever summons him, he besto whoever is first to summon him at, at the particular amount that he's currently set at, um, will win a prize. That prize is currently a gift card for Amazon. It was 50, I've doubled it right now and to 100. Of either dollars or pounds, your choice. Or the winner's choice, I should say. Um, once he's been found, the number changes and a new prize is given. Um, I think what's been guessed? One through 30, I think, has been guessed. The obvious ones, 69, 420, 666, 123, uh, 1000 I think has been done, 999 may have been done, um, and a few other numbers here and there have been guessed. Alright, I'm just going to have to do what I can. Thank you, Sturdy. You said the magic word of Amazon? <laughs> I mean, if you wish to try it, definitely have at it. Obviously, there's no obligation to, and your own financial stability always comes first, as with anything. Please be quicker, sound it. Good. Hey Barry, how's it going, man? All right, Talion is 59. Titanic is 57. 230 defense. Titanic is a beefy. Pexorus. I don't even know what that is. Is there a Guadalva? And hope for the best.
Oh, that's gonna hurt. Crap! I've got no clue. Sucker punch. Jesus Christ! Oh, that's gonna hurt. <clears throat> I need to resurrect and tell you all no. I'll use this to... Revive. Don't have a max revive. Okay, that's fine. Where, 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 where? I'm in the wrong fucking thing. That's fine. Don't I have a weird max revive? No. I think sound that should be okay. I may have just made a huge mistake here. Oh yeah, I made a huge mistake. I might lose here, chat! I think I might lose here. I'm in a, I'm in a bad way. Alright. Boom headshot. Boom headshot. Trying to pole. Fuck. Let's 
Good night, Irene! No, it's not, okay. I need an Italian on back. No, 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 bag. Here's a max potion. Come on, come on. Oh my god, what the fuck? It's just getting worse and worse. I think that's a dragon type. Defeats it ten high. Of course, it's got flamethrower. It's just gonna one shot me with Thunderbolt. Please, please don't be quicker than Guadavar. Or at least have something that doesn't. Like, fucking crit me. So, I uh, need to learn from what he's using. The gym, these don't actually say, do they? Salon that can deal with the first Pokemon. Um, no, what I need to go and check is the Pokedex.
You. What are you? You're a dragon ghost. Which is why you could use Shadow Ball. But you had Flamethrower. We have a strong ice move, sorry. Nice cool spears. Might give and tell you on Ice Beam just to deal with that thing. I think we've got anything that increases the power of fire moves. Let's just go try again, I guess. If this doesn't work, um, we're going to have to go and do some um, training of some kind. We're going to have to go to the wild, the wild lands.
I'd probably be better off just using X Scissor. At least I will take two hits. So at least I get a chance to at least attack here. Oh, okay, interesting. And that's a steel ghost type then. Okay, come on. Let's all fuck this up this time around. I've literally forgotten what Pixaurus is weak to. Quickly look up the dragon side. Boom headshot. Um, okay, stock back on bits. Any chance I can get a hint of what's been tried again? Um, 1 through 30 have been tried, 69's been tried, 420's been tried, 617 has been tried, 666 has been tried, I think 1000, and 999 has been tried, 1, 2, 3 as well. I think those are the ones that have been tried. But it could be any number between that. Between 1 and 1,000, any number. I will say, I haven't moved the number since I've started this. It only will be moved when it's found. It's also not really anything obvious, so... Hey, it's only on 60. Titanic is 58 and 10 high is 60. Let's go. Dragon Pulse. Hey, thank you very much for the 72 bits. I appreciate it greatly. Unfortunately, that isn't the amount to summon Lord Cthulhu, but I do appreciate the effort. Um. 
Um, I'm gonna try one more time, plus it's fun giving back. That's, that is true, that is true. Alright, Senhai, please, please, please be quicker, my friend. It's not shit. Thank you for the 248 bits. Unfortunately, that's not the correct amount to summon Law Cthulhu. I do really appreciate the effort. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yay, I'm in first now. That you are. That you are. Fire, I've got rid of Dragon Pole. Okay, awesome. really the only care that's all I care about killing. Gradovar's dead, he has leveled up. Awesome. Rillaboom? Is that the Grookey Max Evolution? Yes, it is. Hey, we're playing the drums. Hey, it's going to be quicker than me. I can fucking see it. Of course, it was bloody quicker. My life. All right, you can't do much about that, can you, you bitch? Fuck you, Leon! I can do it too, you bitch!
Thank you for wasting your turn. <laughs> you got this. Come on now. I I hope I've got this. What's left is Charizard. I'm gonna Kamehameha wave that biatch. Have some of that! Time for a Gigantamax Charizard. Ah, oh, he looks awesome. The Kamehameha wave equals a dead Charizard. I just needed to defeat, to defeat the Grookey. That was the main thing. My Intellion was a perfect counter. Simon's champion is over. But what a champion time it's been. Thank you for all the greatest battles I've ever had. Let's go, chat. Let's go. It only took me two attempts. Ooh. Yeah, indeed. Congratulations, Karanzi. You've beaten even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. you become a first-rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. Now you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I start looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working to improve the here and now for the sake of all that is to come. And you, Karanzi, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep passing ahead in order to create a bright future we all hope to see. People of Gala, here you have it. A new legend is born right before your eyes. Your champion, Kuronzi! Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid of this kind of strength has for. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do! Now time for some credits.
That actually wasn't too bad, though I did call right at the start that Rose was evil. <laughs> A whole band playing. was actually really good i didn't enjoy i did enjoy that now i think before we end i want to try and go and get um the legendary dog for this game zamazanta um we will come back to this and we will do the dlcs um i'm not sure when at this point, it'll probably be in the new year. Um, I won't be picking. Uh, I won't be starting Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl right away. I will be doing those um, maybe about a week or two after everyone else, uh, so that all of the big streamers that are playing it, like, get it out of their system and move on to other things. Um, and some of the little, some of the little streamer like me has a chance of. Uh, playing i mean it's it's kind of detrimental because like if you're at least if i'm i'm i mean i may change my mind i may play next week um i'm undecided yet because at least playing when the big streamers are playing by a chance of maybe them raiding here though why would they um but you never know gotta think positive positive thinking chat So, yeah, it's... It's going to be interesting. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Hey, you never know. Exactly, it might happen. So it might. I'm not expecting it to. If you have the lowest expectations possible, you can only ever be pleased with an outcome. I mean, realistically, like, why why would they raid me? So. No, I, I don't secretly hope. Because then I, I will still get sad that it didn't happen. So I'd rather, like, not even do that. I know I was, I was getting my fingers crossed. Oh, that's fair. I... The thing is, is I know, I know that there are better streamers out there for people to raid. So, like, raid them first, in my mind. Like, the, there are people far deserving out there, far more deserving out there than I. So. An army of Wooloo! And then in the corner there it says the end that I'm just blocking with my face. Oh, it just kicks me out? I don't even get to... Like, there's no, like, Hall of Fame or anything? What? That's, that's gypped. Hey, Jacob Stinger. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, we got a cutscene. Thank you very much for the follow. I do appreciate it greatly. Thank you for coming on by. How are we doing today? Ah, Magnolia. 
Congratulations, champion. Here, I've got you a little something for you as a celebration. Now I get a Master Ball, okay. The best Pokeball with the ultimate level of performance. With it, you'll catch a World Pokemon without fail. How are we all- how are we doing? You're more than welcome to give me a gift. Uh, Professor Magnolia, why you didn't even have to come all this way? After everything Kronzi has achieved, it's really the least I could do. It won't be good but decent- uh, no, that's fine. That is all good. The wishing stars that make Dynamaxing possible are part of Eternus. When Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokémon were popping up all over, causing tr trouble all across, of all across all of Gala. But Karanzi and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. So young Karanzi, please do what you believe is best. Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions, since she helped carry out so much of the research into Dynamaxing for him. Uh, are we still in online mode? We are still in online mode. Cool. Okay, code is 696969. Uh, what? Well, what do you need me to do with that? I'm, I'm confuzzled. Link. Now we wait, indeed. <laughs> I had tennis in my head going, don't be suspicious. Hey, a trade partner has been found, time for a trade. I've got a duplicate of anything. I had a believe. I believe that's yeah. Jacob, name che name checks out. Name checks out. <laughs> um. Does it matter to you what is given to you in trade? Well, two growlets. Okay. Isn't that a legendary? <laughs> or is that a mythic? There is too much Jesus, man. Fourth.
Mm. Not Kuno. Nice. Launch away! Those are the spares you have. Oh, awesome. Thank you very much. I know what your fourth will be. Thank you, thank you. Um, I honestly... Two of those? Stunky. Stunky. I do have two of those. Okay. Ooh, a Zapdos. Nice, nice. Thank you, thank you so much. This is awesome. It won't be mod. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Hey, no, I, I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. And you said you had one more? You're gonna love this one, okay. Okay, that, that's pretty awesome. Fun fact, I almost... I, I say almost. I was invited to a Mewtwo raid in Pokemon Go. Um, just, I wasn't paying... Probably around 60 pounds to go and get one. So don't, uh, yeah, it was in Holland. I wasn't flying to Holland just for a raid on a Saturday, then come back the same day. Thank you for the Mewtwo. Th thank you for all of those legendaries, actually. That's, that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. There's one more. What? What do you mean there's one more? People say it's a Sino, a Sino legendary. I think that is because doesn't that like doesn't that also is a, like one of the evol the pre-evolved form of a sh uh, shed ninja. What am I thinking of? Oh, Tyran that's Tyranitar. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's a, I think that's a pseudo-legendary. Um, Jesse, do you mean from the trading cards? The codes on the trading cards? Yes, yeah, so the codes on the trading cards. Um, so they are, but they're only for the Pokem the um the Pokemon Online trading card game. <laughs> so 
So if someone plays the training card game, then yes, they, they are insanely useful. You've won more. <laughs> Alright. Uh, before this and Let's Go, Black and White 2 was the last one I had any real um, time spent in. <laughs> Though I didn't complete Black and White 2. Uh, this was the last one. That I was given. Papatar. Hmm, sounds interesting. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that thing just literally just gave me a shit ton of trouble in the final fight. Iris' main Pokemon, yeah. Bye, Oddish. I assume you just disconnected. Let me just make sure that I actually went through, because I said about communication errors and shit. Yeah, that did. Cool. No, I ended it. Yeah, I was waiting to make sure everything went fine through. Thank you very much. It is awesome. Um... Let me have a quick save of that. No, tr truly, man, that was that was mightily awesome of you. Thank you so much. Now, I'm gonna see if I can get Zamazanta. I need to get like gentleman coughing and something and stuff like that. I need to get the stuff from here. Eventually. Um, fuck, wait, wait, which way was it? Was it this way? Yeah. Wait, when you get it? Aha! Okay. Do a touch trade for the Pokedex. Yeah, that works for me. Huh? Karanzi? What are you doing here in the woods? Well, the truth is... You say you felt something was calling you here, that's... Mate, that's pretty uncanny. I've been thinking, you know, maybe the reason Zakan and Zamazenta chose a place like this to sleep was because no one would ever come here and it's so quiet all the time. Oh, but I hadn't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Karanzi. I uh, can't remember... I think this is where you are... I believe it is, yeah. Honestly, Karonzi, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother. The greatest champion Gala ever had. He was undefeatable until you came around. It's actually pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Karonzi. So amazing, maybe, that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Karonzi, do you think... Would you be up for one more battle? Sure. Thanks, Karonzi. Then show me the strength that defeated Lee, the greatest champion we ever had. I'm ready when you are, just say the word. Oh, 
went to a campsite and there was five shinies. Oh my god, that is... Uh, reminder, there is currently a giveaway for the shiny dogs on in most countries. That's actually, yeah, you're right, that's still going on. I might actually do that. Do you have um, a link for where we can go and get those, Cobain and Sue? This will be a serious battle. You're ready for that, aren't you? Of course. Didn't they also start another one? They uh, allowed for a... Um... There's another set of giveaways that they were running. You should have added. You should have added. I I'm gonna stick with these for the moment, because I I mean I had the chance to use Eternatus in the final fight. I just didn't. I have faith in my team. I'm ex I'm. Yeah, he's he's no more powerful than I am. So. Titanic, let's go. That's going to put me to sleep. Cheers, covalency. I'll, uh... Let me actually open that now. <laughs> Is the UK one. You can en just enter an email and get the codes. Using Cinderace already? Okay. So I have some headshots, chat. First throw. Crit captor. Nice. Crit capture. Ooh, awesome. that one is every time it's a steel type oh no it's this freaking thing Powerful. 
Uh, she just used Titanic. Of course, using a full restore. I'm honestly surprised that Titanic is faster than that thing. That should be fine. Because... Body Press. If I need to, I can use 10 High and use Super Power. Crush. It has been successfully neutralized. Far away, Jacob. I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him out because I will. Do you think all those Pokemon I gave you can be two of my team members? Probably. If you're if you're specifically saying two team members, maybe. I don't know. I want to this honor of one. I want to revive sound it. Titanic faint. That's fine. Six. Damn it. That's annoying. All Sure, let's go. Yeah, sure, let's go for it. I'll just take a little off the top of this uh, Corviknight. Boom, headshot. Other the battle, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cramoran. I'm gonna keep the same one, because that's, that's that damn pelican. Yeah.
You two is your third highest attacker? Jeez, okay. Excuse me. Then Zygrade? Nice. I didn't expect there'd be such a power gap between you and me, mate. That's what you ex that's what you get. That's what you get. So, there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. And it isn't and if it isn't the two of you again. I was wondering what all that noise was about. And if it isn't Sonya! Granzi, congratulations on being Leon. Thank you. Taking it all in stride like it's your do, eh? You cheeky little you cheeky thing. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop. Oh. I'm actually not working as my grand assistant any longer. In fact, I am the professor now. Um, then Zakane, and then Charizard has the least. The 240. Jesus. I'm in for, I think I'm in for a rough time with this. You are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Gala region. And I came to care for the Pokémon even more than I ever have before. Ah, here. It's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. Copy of Sonya's book. Awesome. Uh, Professor Sonya's published writings. Her new discoveries about the Gala region legends are recorded this enjoyable read. I already got my own copy, lined up to buy it on the day it came out. Aw, oh, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign you a copy for you later. Anyway, I've got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great things of this lovely Professor Sonya in the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I expect so. Sonya and Quaranzi, you both amaze me. I've got a lot to live up to here. So, what are you youngins doing here? Oh, uh, right. I have max HP and special attack on you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Zakanian has max HP and speed. Okay, yeah, this is gonna, that, this is gonna be a rough fight, I think. <laughs> oh. That's it, isn't it? You are putting the rusted sword and rusted shield back in their place. Can't just keep holding onto them forever, right? Wait, what? Yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What, you think you two were besties now with Sakan and Zamazenta or something? That must be it, Karanzi. Why you felt like you were called here. Let's put the sword and shield back and say a proper thanks for the help. Maybe if we do, we'll be able to see Zakan and Zamazenta again someday. Ah, uh, Charizard is close. Alright, Pokemon. I, I'm just gonna revive these guys quickly. this I'll do yes return the rusted shield and sword Zakanian Zamazenta thanks loads for helping us out took us a while but we brought back your precious relics and all You and Hop returned the rusted sword and rusted shield. We are back, got a P. Hey, no worries, Jacob. Alright, that about settles that. Karanzi, why don't you and I head back? What are you going to do, Sonya? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little more research here in the forest. Hmm. My power spot detector is going off. Ooh. Oh, what? Hello. Well, well, well. 
I thought I heard someone making some noise over this way. Well, well, well. You wouldn't be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book Gala of History. Uh, uh, hello, you brought my book? Why, yes, of course. Read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an internet review of it. That awful book was filled with lies. So we gave it one star. What? There were no lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I am Swordwood. And I'm Shieldbet. And we are the new kings of Gala. We are descendants of the first kings. More than that, we are celebrities. Swordbird and Shieldbird. New king? Descendants? Seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Well, well, well. Could these things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, well, well. They certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. Swordwood took the rusted sword. Shieldbird took the rusted shield. Hey, don't go nicking those. We just returned them. Oh, do shut up. We only happened to pick up some things we were uh, that were dropped on the ground. If you've got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? But there's no way anyone can prove that those who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can't prove it, they're really important to Zakin and Zamazenta. Oh goodness, such a plebeian, yet so pushy. If it really is important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. What does that even mean? I, the Magnificent Shelbert, am your opponent. Aha! No worries. Is he using Master Vault? Oh, so fetched! Ooh, ow, that hurt. You can change the moveset of the Pokemon I gave you. Oh no, I'll, I'll stick with what they are. I am so dead. Oh, he had to recharge? Awesome. How did that... Is Sir Fetched a steel type? If he's using Meteor Assault, then it is a steel type? Think he's grass fighting. Well, then the rock should have not been like. Oh no, it wouldn't have been effective. That makes sense. If he's grass fighting, he'll be weak to psychic. Ten high you're in. I believe you were right, yes. Phalanx is fighting. No, we're not switching. But this time I ain't gonna lie. My team was level 100. Ah, okay. Oh!
Apparently the Spartans don't like Tenhai. <laughs> Can can confirm they're not a fan of off-brand anime. Oh, he's a uh, steel type. I mean, if he's just going to use fighting type, that's fine with me. Brozong? Bronzong? I think fire type? I may have made a mistake. Is that a ghost type? Oh no, it's it is still. Now oh, we burns it. Awesome. Oh shit! Good night. <laughs> still stike it. Yeah. Good night. How'd you evolve it? I would like I would like to evolve it, yes. How, how do you evolve one? Oh, it's a firestone, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> Just like Velpix, okay, awesome. To be honest, I didn't I didn't actually try. That's, that was my own fault, <laughs> for not trying, really. No, I don't want to learn Hydro Pump. Uh, we don't even have anything to... You, you have no sleeping moves. Why would you try and learn Dream Eater? Well, you can't uh, evolve. He has to be female. Okay. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find a new sal um salandit then. <laughs> um. And Sally on. Chip. No more warm ups. It's time to beat you hollow. Ah, uh, this was a bad idea. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's a steel type. Time to revive Salandit. <laughs> oh, you're using. Oh, okay, fine. Good night, Salandit. <laughs> Shit. 
Gotcha. Alright. I'm just gonna rely on some popping out some gears. It has sturdy, doesn't it? Oh no, it fainted. I thought it, I thought it survived with one HP. No, <laughs> he died. <laughs> oh, how can this be? My my Pokemon. I bet I lost. Yeah. I imagine he did. You took back the rusted shield. Chia! So somehow have been defeated. Uh, defeated the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with. You're certainly strong. However, it appears that my older brother was victorious. Sorry, Karunzi, I lost to him. Is <laughs> something on your mind, boy? You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Younger brother, isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh, now I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child, snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he is also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural our ancestors so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute. Destroying the mural our family held such in high esteem for the that wasn't me, that was Badi. That wasn't me. Mural? You mean the one that hid the historical ruins of Zamazenta and the others? And hold on a moment, Kronzi wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let's withdraw for now, next time we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. Yes, let's do that. And with that, farewell! Wait, stop, give back that rusted sword! Hold on, Hop. Ugh, that kid. He's gone recklessly run off. At least you'll come, Karonzi. I expected as much. I'm surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe that had something to do with it. His own rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway... Sawwood and Shieldbert, was it? I think I might know something about where those two weirdos went. Yeah, they went to the frickin' ruins. Should we go over to the lab at Wedgehurst? Of course. Um, when you go in, you can make a team. Indeed. I bet I didn't even need to, um, to ask. Thanks. Okay, we'll meet up at the lab then. I'll head back to the lab. Awesome. By the way, you're gonna um, you're gonna have to go to. All... I have to go through all the gyms again. Ah! All right, we'll have this. We'll have this exhibition match, beating Dynamax Pokemon. Okay. Alright, let me... Let me put my... current team here. You can't have to change your party? What do you mean? Let me put these in here. I'll leave Intelli on for the moment. I obviously can't just remove everyone. Uh, you gave me a Horax, so I'll move you into here. Okay. 
put in some of that. I'll leave that for the moment. Zapdos. Antikuno. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm Muta, you're right. I forgot about that. Thank you. Oh, let me just put that in now. Come on. Where would I put Mewtwo? There it is, Mewtwo. That's a level 100 Mewtwo as well. Damn! His moveset is decent. Um, add one more Pokemon of your choice. Don't have anything to actually deal with Mewtwo. Other than selling on. Oh, I'll add hold on one, three, six. Ah, that's fine. I'm going to add my starter. Okay. Sounds good. Battle Settling Code Doki. Wait. Yeah, that was really fast, actually. Um, I'll let you decide the rules, as I've never done an online battle before, so... <laughs>
I don't know what you're doing. Good luck. Thank you. That's all right. Oh! This thing locked me off. Oh, shit. Oops. <laughs> We can try again. No worries. New code is eight sevens. Let's see how this goes. Taking a little longer this time. Wasn't on the internet. Ah, okay. It's all good. I'm going to guess that your starter may have been Grookey. <laughs> I saw. I mean, I saw it in the list of your Pokemon, but I couldn't. I can't. I actually can't remember what it was. So I just took a guess at Grookey, as that's your um, user icon. on your team. Do, we, uh, do we need to restart? I've got to save. Ooh, okay. Do we need to quit out and start again? It's fine. All right. Yeah, no worries, it's all good. Mm, starting off with Charizard. Made a mistake. <laughs> oh, thank you.
That hurt. That hurt a lot. Hey, it's fish! Oh, of course! Oh, of course Thunder misses! <laughs> Ah, confusion! It's good, no Irene. Or not? So of course, it hurt itself in its confusion. <laughs> Nice! 69, 69, nice. Fish attack again! Uh, the re okay, you're fine. <laughs> Recall killed that. <laughs> Thank you. 
beam power! Nope, oh, well. Let's go! The power of the moon compels thee! Alright, you've managed to confuse me, so that's going to be a problem. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah, the, the reduction of your special attack, I forgot about that. Nice. Alright, let's see. Let's go. We have I only just, I only just saw that. Oh well, never mind. I'm afraid to live, yeah. <laughs> And you did! Yes! 
Yeah, um, using the moon blast on you, like, has hampered your special attack. Giant burb! Got some icicles, icicles on you. I, my speed does not need to be raised anymore. Alright, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it's not. Okay, interesting. Oh, because the flying cancels out the ice. Weakness. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> well, I should be out of Dynamax now, and you've got your Charizard, who's probably going to be at full speed, and it's going to be quicker than my Articuno. So I think I've lost. It comes down to this. It is about HP, yeah. Well, it was actually down to speed. It was. It wasn't about HP. Thank you. Oh, that. <laughs> that was. That was hard fought. That was hard fought. I. I wouldn't have stood a chance if you had a full team of six. Jeez. Oh, thank you for that. Um so that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do this. So you were saying that I to get um Zemazanta I need to go through all of the gyms and Dynamax everything? Or beat Dynamax monsters in all of the gym locations? Okay. Well, in that case, then, I will be playing this next week. <laughs> um. So we now know what my tasks are for next week. That That's a little... Well, are we going to do this next week? I can't do it. I can't do it during the week. I can't do it during the week because if it runs over... Uh, I've got work in the mornings, most days. Shit. I can't do it tomorrow because I've already got that. Hey, it's it's the same time for me, man. It's the same time for me. <laughs> have have a good sleep. Take care. I'll be I'll be stopping up in a moment anyway, so thank you very much for the Pokemon. Thank you for the battle. I appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by and chatting. I do appreciate it. Done again. That's what I wanted. Let's go to the uh, the ending credits now. And please stick around. Those of you that can, we'll raid out in a moment. Just do the closing speeches as usual. Um. So yeah, actually, I I'm oh, now in two minds about whether I want to try and get Zemazanta next week or if I want to play Diamond and Pearl. I'll leave Friday, next Friday as question marks um, and I'll make a decision closer to the time. Um, so, 
yeah, so tomorrow obviously is Resident Evil 6 with my mod Fist of Valhalla, as far as I'm aware. I need to double check with him, so I'll do that after this. Uh, Sunday and Monday. Sunday, Monday and Thursday will be um, Wargroove. We're we going on, finish, continuing on that, and see if we can finish up that. Um, hmm. Yeah, then Friday will be one of Pokemons, and Saturday I'm not sure. It depends on where we get to with Wargroove. So, I want to say a thank you to a Bun Bun of the Isle and a Growly for the two awesome raids bringing your communities over i do appreciate it thank you very much to dsx jesse for the bits you tried for cthulhu didn't find him but i do appreciate the support very much and a thank you to emzo and to jacob stinger for the new follows you guys are awesome, and I do appreciate it. And lastly, thank you to our moderators of Streamlabs and Nikolai Vladov. If it wasn't for you guys, this stream would not run as smoothly as it does. So, with that, thank you very much for watching. If you're watching this post on Twitch or on YouTube, why don't you think about hitting that follow or subscribe button in the relevant locations? Especially if it is on Twitch, because if we make it to 750 followers, well, there'll be another cosplay stream. And also, I will cut the number of bit numbers to guess for summoning Lord Cthulhu in half. I'll also, that also will mean that the prize will go back down to its original amount, though. So if you want to, if you want to try, at least for those on YouTube watching, for on Twitch watching, why don't you stop on over while we are live? <clears throat> if you are on YouTube, though, why don't you think about hitting that thumbs up or leaving a friendly, constructive comment? Because if you do that, well, it helps get the video noticed by that dreaded algorithm. If you can do both of those things. It doubles the exposure and you would be majestic people. Better yet, why don't you pop on over while we are live on Twitch. You can either lurk with us or you can interact with us in chat. Either option is good with me, as ultimately it's your viewership that really drives things forward here on the channel. So, let us see who is live who we can go and raid. Say hello to for a little bit. I don't know who I've clicked on. I really need a new mouse. With someone else playing Pokemon, though. Ah, it was Saint in the game, but I don't think we're going to go there. I thought Aqua was live. Yeah, she is. She's playing Dead by Daylight. Is there anyone else that we can go and say hello to? Let's go over and say hello to Miss okay. Aqua. So, quite obviously, if you can join us for this raid, that would be rather awesome of you. Sorry, I, I, I just lost a trail of thought there. Obviously, if you are joining, copying that we raid from the shadows to make some legends so they know ex so she knows exactly where we have come from. It's a nice community over there. Nice, chill people. Always some fun times. We're playing spooky games. They're playing Dead by Daylight. They are survivors today. So, if you can join... That's it, if you can't... But if you can't join us with this raid, I do understand. So until next time, everybody... Stay safe.